spit this shit from my head This is shit you might hear Swear I'm up like yeah All you niggas acting like Spit this shit from my head This is shit you might hear Swear I'm up yeah. like yeah All you niggas acting like, like Slow down, hold up, bright lights Got me tripping like Hello everyone, this is Night Tonight Gaming, this is your host Night, and I want to actually just give my impressions on the Lawbreakers beta, I didn't get to give it when I first came out because I've just been real busy, but beside the, on the, another note, this is actually, to me, the fastest FPS shooter I've played in a while, I played, I didn't play Doom, I played this game at E3 actually, and it was just as fun, it feels like some things were tweaked from, uh, from E3 uh, with the beta, Mostly with the introduction of their new character, Wraith, who, which, uh, they actually added one more character who's supposed to be like a healer and a beam shooter type, like, I don't know, energy beam user, I forgot the name. Exactly, but we'll be seeing them more when the like, full game comes out. But overall, my impressions of the beta was, it was really fun. I was playing it every day, I had so much fun. I started to see the balances that need to be made, more with, uh... Wraith in a sense, he seems a little bit, Wraith seems to have a little too much damage, a little too much range with his machine pistol. That was probably the, and uh, Titan, he's uh, more of the rocket launcher user, he just seemed a little underpowered because it was pretty much A, try to get, you're getting around with your rocket launchers, because there's no point in shooting your rocket launchers because you're not going to hit anybody. When everybody else uses hit detection weapons, you're the only one using, uh, what's that word, projectile weapons. So it just, it just seems a little unbalanced just for those two heroes. Everybody else is very, very well balanced. Uh, overall, they just need to go through more balancing uh, with all the heroes. Hopefully all the data, the data they collected from the PC and the PlayStation 4 betas, they start to fix some of those because uh, I've heard a lot of things that those two, Titan was the most underpowered and Wraith was too overpowered. Mostly with his ability to get around the map as quicker than anybody else. Literally, I have a part in this clip when I was uh, assassin here, and I was trying to get away, but Wraith in like five seconds got me, and I was like, oh, I'm going pretty fast. No, Wraith is super fast, because he, he pretty much uses his knife and his little slide, and he can get around the map in like literally five seconds, which I love that about the game, because everybody can do that, but his movement speed is just a little bit faster than everybody else's. The map, uh, next time we're going on to the maps, which were all freaking amazing, because no matter where you are, you're, there's a way to get around. The central aerial hubs are always the anti-grab zones, which make for the most funniest and just cool combats, because everybody's flying around, trying to figure out what, how you're going to take somebody down. You're trying to think on your toes, as well as trying to have perfect aiming and use all your abilities to the fullest. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. In my case, it doesn't a lot of the times, because for some reason the anti-grab zones are my weakest points, which when the full game comes out, I am going to obviously get it. Like, look, Wraith just whooped me in like five seconds. <laughs> but uh, all the maps were really well done. They uh, So you have your anti-grab zones, then you have your regular zones, which you didn't. Uh, your movement speed was slower, but because of how the mechanics work, it was so it was just easy to get around, even when those regular zones. It was just when you, when you got to anti grab zones, you felt like this is what the game is, and you feel feel at your fullest, and you're just trying to look for all the divvy points where you can use assassins, a uh, little Spider-Man hook thing to get around even the non anti grab points. Like I I've used it even though like carry the ball, just go around the very side. Hook once, hook twice, and you can be right on the enemy's freaking spawn in like five seconds with no problem. But I think I just really love this game. It's really amazing. I can't believe it's only gonna be $30 when it comes out. So I advise everybody to get it if you're really like a hardcore first person shooter. I think you'll really love this game. It isn't an over, it seems like an Overwatch clone to a lot of people, but to me, it's not. It has like its moments, but you're like, oh, I have this character, this character. They have similar abilities. But it's not, it's just, it's way more hardcore. Like, Overwatch to me seems very casual. Anybody can pick it up and play it. This one, it's hard to pick up and play. It's very, very, very fun though. I had no, I have no real complaints about it. I just had so much fun. I myself need to get better, except for probably those two characters overall. I just need, I just need to personally get better. But Wraith, no, Nerf Wraith. I even had a match 
where I was screaming at my TV about to chuck my controller and I quit playing the game for a day because I had like a team where they had like one character and the other three people were race and they were just every time you kill one person another two would slide around go above you and you'd be looking all over the place and you're just like where did they go and they just come up to you brr, dead like just dead you couldn't couldn't do nothing you're just dead dead go it's good ass one dead get ass one dead I even show a little gameplay. It's not the best gameplay I did with Wraith, but I was still using him. Still using him. Like, ooh, like, look at this. You just fly around with him. <laughs> it's, just, it's just really fun. I have other gameplays I might show later. One with uh, Juggernaut, but you already saw that with Kenny, so I didn't think of showing that one. And I had uh, one other one with Enforcer, which I was just putting in work. But beside the note, I believe this game is still... Very fun, very, very amazing, and very fast paced. I believe everybody should get it. I, I can't say that enough. Even after E3, where I played E3, my favorite character was Vanguard E3 because she had the chain gun that was just seemed overpowered, but with all these other characters, oh my god, it looked like I could not be her. So, and I was also trying to try out Assassin, Gunslinger. All their abilities just seemed really cool and really amazing. I had, I had a lot of good games, a lot of bad games. I see where I need to improve as a player, which is very good in these type of games to just see anything kind of crazy like that. But overall, very fun game. I hope all y'all get it. The maps were amazing. The gameplay was awesome. Very fast plays. Even the game modes. Even though some of them situated more into who had the fastest characters, who had like the one, the, all the fast characters plus the one healer. But overall, it was just. Eh. <laughs> I feel like once the game comes out, everybody will start seeing it. Oh god, start seeing uh, more, and hopefully there's not like because there's not a meta in this game because no matter what character you be, you can beat every character. It's just Wraith at the time at in this game, he was just very, very overpowered. His bloom on his freak on his crosshair was just so low. You can literally just keep tapping it and you can fire across the screen. Shoot, you don't even, you didn't even do that. You can just hold it down and you can probably hit somebody sniper range with that little mini machine pistol. But oh, <laughs> but I, I'm coming into this video. I just want to do a quick impression, but I hope y'all enjoy. Please pick up this game because I believe they deserve everything about it. Mostly when it's only thirty dollars and get the whole game for free. But this has been Night Scene Gaming. I'll be see y'all later. Bye. Thoughts of my enemies, lost in the sauce, and it came into my energy. I remember all the light girls that never remember me. Now I switched it up, my girl brown like my hand is say. Hold up, I wait, my potential by do yours fly by day. So please beg your pardon, pardon my whole style.